let's have a look at what margins of error are okay so when we talk about a margin of error what is it that we actually mean so what I want to do is I want to just take you back to when we did inference and in inference we had our box and whisker graphs now within that um, particular level two we often had confidence intervals around a median so what this is doing so if I put my median in the middle there we've got to go back to a little bit further if I go back to the whole idea about my collecting data I start with my population and within that population I am going to take a sample now that sample that's the median that I've got here um, in the middle all right so that's my median what the confidence interval is trying to do is give me a range of values that my population median might be okay so the confidence interval is saying that it, my population median could be anywhere between here and here all right it could be any of these values within this range um, our best guess is that it's this value here in the middle okay that's what our sample suggests is the best guess but it could be anywhere but in that range of values so the idea is that we take a sample median and then we go up by a little bit go down by a little bit and that gives us the range of values that we draw our confidence interval for now this little bit that we go up or down that is called a margin of error okay so if I go plus the margin of error minus the margin of error that takes me to those two particular values okay so that's what a margin of error is giving us a range of values that the our estimate is likely to be between and it builds our confidence interval so the margin of error is one of the building blocks of that okay